Hello peoples, it's his little Cherie, and today is the fourth Sunday of Advent, and I am here with my love candle. It's red, which is appropriate, right? And so today I'm thinking about love and remembering that Christmas is all about love, not just generic love or romantic love or the love of family and friends, Christmas really at its heart is about God's love. And I know that because it's about God coming to us. And uh, so as I've been thinking about that, I've been realizing that there's a lot of worship that goes on at Christmas. When, when Jesus comes, he was surrounded by worship, worshiping shepherds, Worshipping barn animals, if you believe the storybooks. Worshipping uh, wise men. And of course, Mary and Joseph themselves knew that this was no ordinary child. And so they worshipped. But um, I think we forget that really Christmas isn't necessarily about God wanting our worship. I had a friend tell me once, you know, God must be the most egotistical person in the world to demand that we worship him. But that's really getting it backwards because God didn't come demanding that we worship him. God came to let us know that we were worth it. Worship means being worthy, being worth it. But when we look at Christmas, when we look at God in a feeding trough, we realize that it's his message to us that we are worth it. God didn't come to be loved. He came to love us in the middle of our mess. <laughs> so that's good news for those of us that find ourselves in the middle of a mess. You know, when everything is said and done, and everything is taken away. Everything. What do we have left? We have a God who came to tell us we're worth it. We're worth it to him. So I'm lighting my love candle today in honor of the love that came. Love. Burn brightly. And you too. Merry Christmas.